Okay, everyone, so tonight I have kind of a rare little treat. The lovely owner over at the Happy Dotting Company sent me one of her molds to try, and I think this would be a great solution for those of you who are having issues finding stones, and this is supposed to make your own. So we are going to test this out and see how it goes. She sent this lovely little package, and she's super sweet. She's on Facebook at the Happy Dotting Company. She's also on Instagram, and she has her own YouTube channel as well, the Happy Dotting Company. So you should definitely go check her out, because you'll probably get more information about these molds than I have. But I'm just going to test it out and see where we go with this. So she has nicely written out instructions on how to do all this. All we basically have to do is add water to this powder mixture that she has already divided out for us for one stone. And it says it washes up with soap and water. So it sounds good to me, especially with having kids around. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to mix it with the amount of water that she suggests. And then we'll pour it into the mold. Alright, so I am going to go ahead and use a measuring cup here so it's easier for me to pour it into the mold after. And we're just going to kind of get it all in there. We're going to let it soak up for a little bit. Okay, so it is soaking in, and I'm just going to use a little tongue depressor, paint stir type thing, popsicle stick, to gently mix it up. I assume we don't want to get a lot of air bubbles in it if we want it to set appropriately. Make sure that it's nice and creamy, that we don't have any bumps or lumps. We want a nice smooth stone. Okay, so I've gotten all the bumps and lumps out. I want to just kind of get the air bubbles out. I'm just going to tap the bottom of my glass here so they rise to the top and pop. We'll let that sit for a minute. Alright, so I'm just going to set up my mold here. And we're going to go ahead and pour this into our mold. Alright, I'm just going to kind of smooth it out a little here, tap a few more of those air bubbles out. And let it set overnight. Okay, it is morning time. I let it dry overnight. And now comes the big reveal of the homemade stone. I got a couple bubbles, but those are on the bottom. It's not a big deal. And then it did get really hot overnight, but then I found the YouTube video she had of it 
lovely Angela covered everything and she said that's normal so it's probably just the chemical reaction and she said it's that it's curing so we are going to unveil what our lovely little stone looks like how fun is this look at that and the mold she's got has already got your center dot started for you that's fantastic saves you the trouble of trying to measure a stone and everything what a great idea if you don't want that she said suggested just lightly sanding it with some gentle sandpaper and it'll take that right off or you could probably just paint over it and it'll disappear so how fantastic is this what a game changer for people who can't find their own stones or if you just want something that you know is going to be perfectly round to paint on if that's easier for the designs this is so fantastic thank you so much Angela over at the happy dotting company for putting these out there we'll get the word out for everyone Now I think I'm going to go paint my stone. I'm super excited.